paint job. Go with Coco, where she's got great acceleration. That indigo looks nice. Alrighty, so we got one track left. Sewer Speedway. This is a track not based on any character, but based on the sewer levels in Crash 2. Oh, better show these off. Here's where you can save and load your your game. Just drive up. Okay, so it does auto. I couldn't remember. I don't remember if the original auto saves when you get a trophy, or CTR token, or anything. But yeah, that's where you go to save. Wrong button. No. I was wondering if there was some kind of. Oh, is there? X options, gameplay. You can train. Skip intro, cuts. Uh, mini map, I want that on. Audio. Let's put subtitles on. See, this I'm going to have to play around with the legacy music. See, I'm using the standard control set. You have the alternative, the alternate. As well. Already, I gotta play around and figure out which one I like more, but I'm used to this one so far. Already, Sewer Speedway. It's a fun track. There's a lot, there's a few shortcuts in this one. I don't remember all the shortcuts in the game. I do remember a few. Uh, I'm probably not going to hit any today. I'm going to try to, but some of them require good boosting and good jumping skills. And I don't have that right now. My skills at this game have, have gone. I have some skill, just not very much on it. Alrighty. There's lots of little hazards. Ooh, big alligator they added in. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like these little features that they're adding in the background of the tracks. That's kind of neat. Coco, I haven't really used much. Uh, originally playing CTR. I played usually as Crash. Cortex and Crash are pretty much the same. I think Engine and Coco are pretty much the same stat-wise. Like Tiny, Tiny and Digno Dial are the same stat-wise. I can't remember the boss characters or reskins of the, uh, are the same since other characters, but I can't remember which one's which for stat-wise. But I mostly played as Crash, Cortex. Uh, I played a little bit as Tiny and. Uh, I wanted to show this off. If you get hit by the drum there, you get squashed and you go real slow for a little while and then you eventually pop back up. It's worth showing off. I like this track because you got these little jumps here. So you got different little, you can get good little speed boosts. If you fall down there, it's not death or anything. It's just you take a long way. Yeah, you want to be on the sides because the water here slows you down, but the water is where the boxes are. Not worth going after at the moment for those Wampa Fruit because I don't want to get flattened. I want to kind of increase my little lead I have right now. Do -do -do. Oh, the, are those those little scrubbing bubble things up 
we just passed a little while ago. They were up in the like top right hand corner. There are enemies from Crash One and Crash Two. Or no, Crash Two in the sewer levels. I'm liking the redesign of these, like just adding extra little elements. I'm sure Naughty Dog would have done that back in the PS1 day if they could have. But you're limited by with what the hardware you have at the time. Be interested to see if there's any degradation when you go to multiplayer because that was the funny thing. If you did uh, three or more with uh, more players you added for local multiplayer, it just the model started to degrade. It's funny. Booyah! That's sewer speedway. And I got the new skin for Coco, Blue Coco. So you get your first skin for just winning, winning or one race with them. That's more race you win. I already got 40 this time. I wonder if it's because I got the last trophy in an area. Because you don't get that much for at least doing the cups on easy. Because you do you get 20, 20 for every first place. And then the last, if you did, got the last of the fourth race in the cup, uh, cup challenge. You got first, so if you'd get 40. So I'm wondering if like boss characters in here give you more coins or online matches. It'd be interesting because I want to start unlocking the characters. So Dingo Dial in a hazmat suit, that's kind of cool. And uh, Panda for Polar, that's kind of cool. Nope. Yeah, this is much better than the original cutscene. Oh god, him and his love of TNTs and stuff. Are you crazy enough to race me? Alrighty, new cart. So let's go to carts. have any decals what do you get your first one or an ACT arc token two three relics and pit shops alrighty let's go with engine blue engine figure I'd show off what the skins look like at least go with engine Ripper Roo's not too bad. And fun fact, he's the first boss in Crash 2 and the second boss in Crash 1. It's an interesting character, to say the least. In the original game, to unlock Ripper Roo, you had to win one of the cups, the gem cups, which was like you had to get, I think it was the blue gem cup, whereas you had to get so many CTR tokens and then you get in there. I'm going to skip it this time because it's me versus Ripperoo. You want to get ahead of Ripperoo especially before he gets his first item crate because if you hadn't guessed it, his item is TNTs. He just leaves a bunch of TNTs across the stage which isn't too bad but if you get far enough behind and then they start going off and exploding it can be annoying but Ripper is not that bad I've got a decent I've got a lead on him as long as I don't screw up royally I easily have this in the bag without him ever touching me unless they've changed it where he can use different weapons but I kind of don't think they're going to do that. I could be wrong. It's not the first nor the last time I'd be wrong. Bomb. A weapon that... 
I understand how it can be good, but just one I never use, like using in CTR unless they're directly in front of me. Woohoo! Potions. And we only seen one of his TNTs. I don't have I have a small lead against him, but I'm still good for the final lap. Ooh, almost ran into my own potion there. That would not have been good. Ugh, ugh, ugh. There we go. The fun thing you can do with TNT hopping there is if you're skilled enough. Uh, well, not skilled enough. If you hop off and the TNT goes flying off, it can fly off and hit another uh, driver. I've had that happen. I got the blue engine skin. Only 20 coins. Wow, I thought that would have given you more for being a boss. Yeah, that, that's just disgusting, him coughing up the key. But, in the original CTR, you just got a close-up cutscene of his head and him, his cart talking to you. And they didn't use actual audio, they used like the hyena kind of laugh kind of thing. And then just showed text on the screen. Now we have our first key and we've beaten the first area. We can now explore more of the hub world. Oh, that's kind of cool to give you a little key cut scene. You've unlocked Ripperoo. And the orange paint job. And the Ripperoo sticker. No, I meant to go to customization. So. Ripperoo. Okay, so he's a uh, Polar and Pearl. Let's go with Ripperoo. I'll use him in an actual race, but now you can go back. To get CTR tokens, Skull Rock, and uh, Relic Crisis. Let's see if I can get a crystal. Uh, do the crystal challenge. These are quite difficult, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I find them quite difficult. No one chatting away, but we'll race on. Oh, that's kind of cool. They add these little things. All oh, the teeth kind of add. So twenty crystals. So and you do have a time limit—a minute thirty. And that's the speed up vial. I don't know what you would call it, but it's the speed up power up. It's very useful. I'll be using it for some some of the crystals up there. I wish they'd give you like a little map to show you where the crystals are at. Dang. I missed that. That's not good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's the jump ones that I still have left to do. Yeah, 
yeah. Yeah. Eh, at least I got 17 of them. 18. We got 15 coins. No. Oh well. I did better than I expected there. That I have to practice up. I remember completing Skull Rock uh, back in the day. I never 100% of the game. I'll admit that. I hope to with this game. With the Nitro Fuel version, but it's going to take me time. So in here, you need five gens to get the turbo track and ten for slide calcium. Ten relics. There we go at nine percent. Working our way up. There's Oxide's little head. So here for Oxide. You need four boss keys. We've already got we got one down. Just need to get the other three. So need to find the next hub world. That's the one when you have two boss keys. Hmm. Ancient kind of temple area. Woohoo. Yeah, save TV. So welcome to the true second area. And what's our track here? Coco Park, the one we saw in the intro cutscene. I forgot to mention, I like how they go straight to the intro country scene when you go to adventure mode. In the PS1 version, you had to just wait on the home menu for like 30 seconds to a minute. And then it would just play the intro kind of cutscene. It didn't play it when you go straight to adventure mode. I don't know why. some water in me always hydrate friggin I wish I could turn my fans on to make it a little cooler in here but the problem is you will with the way I've got things set up unfortunately the fans will get picked up and it'll make me hard to hear alright ready Coco Park it's Coco Bandicoot's track, if you could not tell, especially with the giant statue of her there. So you got Wampa Fruit back there. We just saw one on the track. This track's alright. I don't mind it. But I don't go out of my way to play it. I like, I like the song for it. The original. I haven't heard the remaster. Oh, she gets two statues of herself in this area. The remastered. All three she goes for. Oh, her and her laptop. I wonder if she got a new laptop battery. If you've played Crash Bandicoot 2, you know what I'm referencing. Unless you skip the intro cutscene. Dang, missed the boost pad. But I got a decent lead. That's always good to have. Do do do. Do do do. I know with the PS4 they gave uh, a track, an alter, an extra track, which is the alternate version of uh, was it Slide Coliseum? It's retro and they're all po low polygon, 
and they gave you the polygon skins for Crash, Cortex, and Coco. Um, I'm definitely going to make a video on that, and I will be making a review on this game. So look forward to that on YouTube, and check. always follow the Twitter account, because I will be posting updates. But I figured, might as well let you know now. Wee. That was Coco Park. We got Green Ripper Rill. And 40. Or oh, are these just going to go up in more monetary value as you go into the different areas? I hope so. I want more money. <laughs> It'd be interesting when the season starts so you can, uh, getting the nitro fuel and unlocking the extra characters that they've announced in the extra little goodies extra tracks do, do, do. step up game so yeah you can access the hints Aku Aku and Uku will tell you that eventually they're like you can go to the hint menu it's somewhere in this tier they stop coming out after every race oh I was going to say can I just go yeah. thank you Uka Uka go to customization so now that we've played as Ripperoo let's go as Dingo Dial And let's show off his skins. Gorilla. <laughs> oh god. Ripperoo. What if I'm pan... Oh. So you gotta get a bunch of CTR to... Oh, that's a buyable one. The pit one. Good. Beach Dingo. Let's just go with traditional Dingo Dial. Okay. So now we gotta go all the way over here for our next track. Whoop. Rampage Ruins. You need two keys. That's a. I think that's a crystal one. Oops. Thank you, Kuka. Dingo Canyon, that's Dingo Dials. Track. If that's